Hi everyone, this is Jay. This is part 3 of my videos on the iPad. This video will be focusing on internet browsers. This is currently running Roger Braun's custom firmware version 5.1. Let me start by saying there are a handful of browsers, each with their own unique capabilities. I'll be focusing on the top three. The first one is the Google browser that's pre-installed on the system. It's just called browser. This is a very clean looking browser. Its speed is about average where it, even when you have the websites cached. It has the ability to launch the websites in full screen mode with the pages slightly cut off. Let's open a website here. I guess this Amazon page. The responsiveness is so so it should be faster if you have more memory on your iPad. I should add that all these browsers have the ability to open multiple pages and they also properly change orientation when rotated. Like so. You can also click on the page anywhere and zoom out. The responsiveness is so so. Right, let's move on to our next browser alright this next browser is all about speed this is the Opera Mini 5 right here it uses the same feature as Google Chrome which allows users to set their most visited web pages as the home page as you can see there so I can just click one of these preset links and go to my favorite pages right away we'll use Amazon again the browser also loads pages a lot faster than the other ones. Although the only complaint I have about this one is that it lacks zoom. Um, like I showed on the previous br browser. It loads pages slightly zoomed in, just like that. But for the performance, I don't mind. And this is what I meant by each browser having their own unique capabilities. This one is faster than the other ones. The responsiveness is pretty fast as well. Alright, let's move on to the third browser. third browser is called Skyfire. This browser is slow. There's no other way to say it. It supports full web pages just like the Google browser but it has a feature neither of the previous two have playing flash videos. When you load a page with a flash video on it this part of the browser will flash to notify you that there's a video on the page. Uh, Skyfire takes the flash video, converts it into HTML5 and sends the, sends the optimized video to the device. Like I said, the browsing experience is slow but when it's playing the video you'll be treated with a treated with a seamless playback. It's actually quite nice, but with another downside. You won't be able to control the video's timeline, meaning you won't be able to skip to any parts of the video, so you'd have to watch the entire thing from the start. Let's cancel this and go to YouTube.
Let's watch some random video here. And this is what I mean by it being slow. Alright, you see the notification? Just click that. It's gonna load the video. Doesn't take too long. And it loads it into full screen mode. If you want to control the timeline of your YouTube video, there is a YouTube app. But the downside with this is that it plays the videos in um, in window mode and not full screen see yep. and that's actually high quality already I know we all come to life, man. if I change that to normal quality yep. see how tiny that is so I tend to watch the videos in Skyfire. Yep. Alright, I've shown you my top three browser picks. They're all free to download and use. I didn't go into details about another contender and that's the Dolphin browser. But it's pretty much just a slightly faster version of the Google browser. And it tends to be glitchy. So I excluded it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Once again, please visit mycortex.com and become a member. See ya.